Hi, welcome to uh, sunny Cornwall. It's the 1st of July and this is my wheat trial or demonstration site just south of Tregony in sunny Cornwall, part of, uh, part of the Rosen Peninsula. You've got the corner shops in the background over there. Um, don't turn off thinking this is going to be boring because what we're going to see in here is possibly the revolution coming into wheat breeding. If I just take you through some of these quickly, these are the, the varieties which we, a lot of us are familiar with. Zy19 is a bread making wheat. Not the best disease score. As you can see from the septoria on the plants here, this is all untreated on my left. And we've got treated on the right. And as you can see where it's been treated, it's had a full spray program, T0, T1, T2, T3. It's had nitrogen 180 units and it's had P and K as determined um, by the analysis which was done using um, a variable rate spreading system. Except it's uh, an old stalwart, very good disease program, um, very sorry disease profile, lovely looking crop and it's quite, a, quite liked by the organic Bright, the organic growers because basically it has a very good disease profile as you can see here hardly any septoria on the crop at all it's looking very clean for you know this part of the world considering we are going to see some pretty horrific disease in these varieties here so as I say that's except nice variety Einstein this is the world record holder for the highest yield achieved was done so in New Zealand. Um, good second wheat. Nice bold grain. So so on the disease profile. You can check here, it's done quite well. It's nice and clean where it's had the full program. And then when you look over here, you can see why it's only got a five or so for Septoria. Pretty dirty, although you still got some leaf area there. Not much. Panorama, it's a, a lovely variety bred by Nickerson's. It's a uh, good group two, good second wheat, good big heads on it as you can see. And disease, yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad. Pretty clean. It's a six for Septoria. But in actual fact, if you compare that to some of the other varieties in here, that's pretty clean. And then you can see it here where it's, where it's treated. Very nice. Thing. Claire, this is a very old, well it's 12 years old now, it's been on the list for 12 years, good solid variety, farmer's variety basically, very easy to grow, and there it looks, that's what it looks like in the uh, treated section, and here we go, untreated, quite a bit of septoria in it, Invicta, this is a new group 3, well named because it can go just about into any market. Very very good looking on this side here where it's been it's had the full program of spraying and then if you look at it on the untreated side it also is fairly clean. Not a lot of disease in it considering it's pretty clean. Pretty pretty nice actually and I've got good feelings about this variety in this neck of the woods. I think it's going to be a good variety for Cornwall and Devon. Alchemy, very old variety now done, well not very old but it's an old variety, older variety shall I say. Um, very very popular as a feed wheat but if we look at it here that's treated and we come across here and we look at it untreated yeah it struggled. It really has this year compare that to what we just seen with Invicta yeah, it's chalk and cheese really has struggled for some reason I think it's probably to do with the fact that it's been very dry and it's obviously certain varieties this year have done better than others in the dry weather Edmunds a sister variety to Cassius never got on the recommended list it's not looking too bad nice big fat flag leaf on it but again never got on the wrist so so on the disease profile and you can see 
not too good. Estabrac, again another older variety. Tall straw, does very well in dry years. It's looking pretty good here, nice and even. Even here in the untreated. Okay, it's only a five, but it's okay. It's still got green leaf in it. Cassius, we talked. Uh, it's a sister variety to Edmunds, which we just had a look at. Short, squat, dumpy ears, big yielder, likes a full program, does not like it untreated. That's pretty scorched. Gravitas, new variety, group four, soft. Looking nice. And untreated, looking pretty clean. This is what we like to see. So it means that the, you know, this variety is the first wheat down here in Devon will do pretty well. Fairly farmer friendly. Sahara, this is an older variety again. Savannah Cross. Nice and green and pretty clean. I just got a niggle in the back of my mind about this one. Don't know if it's going to have big enough ears and a big enough yield, but it will be a surprise maybe. Maybe it'll be pretty good. And here we got the revolution coming. This variety is Stig, to be confused with the Stig, who stands out like a sore thumb with his white helmet. I suppose this one does too, because there's nothing else out there that looks anywhere near like this. But this is the revolution coming into wheat breeding. And uh, you consider what you've just seen from disease. This is untreated. Sorry, what am I saying? That is treated. And this is untreated. And there is very little difference between the two. There is hardly any disease in this crop. It's short stiff probably to cut back on the growth regulator but it is clean absolutely clean now if you can save yourself a lot of money on chemical if you're growing this uh, as a whole crop you know this is an easy crop of wheat to grow there's there's nothing like this and this is what's going to happen if the french have their way we need to start cutting back on chemicals then um this is a variety that's going to lead the way. JB Diego, nice variety. Looking fairly good. So so disease. It's lost a lot of leaf area there. Robigus. This is one that we're using to breed. Well, it's, it's the first variety really to come up with the goods in yield terms. But unfortunately, this had a massive problem with rust but given that it's actually looking surprisingly clean well not clean but it's not looking too bad and there you can see the little the yellow rust which has gone into the ears these yellow ears but still not as bad as oakley which we're coming to Deben, another old variety. It's not particularly clean. It's pretty clean on that side where it's had the full program, but it's still got a bit of deceptor in the base. Pretty whacked out in the untreated. Oakley, highest yielding variety on the recommended list. And then you look at the untreated. This is a risky variety to grow. Get it right, it'll reward you, but it needs a lot of agri agrochemicals to keep it uh, in check. So that's treated, untreated. Duxford, very good second wheat. Looking pretty good here. This is treated, untreated. So, if you compare these, this is the Oakley again, which is 
got yellow rust, amongst other things. There's a major issue, Deben, which is not very strong on Septoria. Robigus, again, which has got an issue with yellow rust. Sahara, which should be looking cleaner than it is, but it's surprising how it isn't looking quite so clean as I was hoping it would be. And then we look at this chap here, and there is just, it is just incredible. There is no disease, or virtually no disease in this crop. And this is what the organic people have been, have been pushing for for a long time. You know, and if you're an agriculture, and if you're a farmer growing a large acreage of wheat, and you've got outlying ground, it's always difficult to get to, then take it from me, this variety down here in a high pressure cooker type environment for septoria, looking as clean as this, then I don't know that there's any other place in the world, or probably there's nowhere else in the UK that you can't grow this wheat. I think you could probably grow this anywhere and not struggle with disease. It's got just about everything in it which it needs to fight off disease. So here you are, down in sunny Cornwall. It's a glorious summer's evening. And you're looking at the future of wheat breeding here. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers for now.